Hello. Hi, people. What's happening in here? Can you guys hear me okay? Um, I'm also wondering, can you hear the music in, like, coming from my mic? I don't know why it's telling me. It's being all weird. Hello? Let me turn this down a tiny bit. Hey, hey. Checking. Hi, Eli. Okay, the music you can't hear very well is what I'm hearing. How about now? Is that okay? I'm going to turn the music down on my end because it is loud. Hey. Hello, everybody. Okay. <laughs> this is my iPad. Um, am I horrified? A little bit. Um... I feel like I will quickly set up. What? I'm gonna quickly set up. Make sure that none of my personal information is here. So I'm gonna set up a canvas. Um. What kind do I want? I think I want Instagerm canvas. How's everybody doing today? I'm also when I look down, I'm gonna be looking at my phone. Um, because this is where I have the chat. Oh, Lulu, that's so sweet. Thank you. Um, I'm good, Rach. I'm really good. Thank you for asking. I'm just going to find... Okay. <laughs> Guys, this is so funny. So I went back in my... Um, I went back in my photos. <laughs> and I found these super old photos from like 2015. Um, and I was like, I feel like I could edit them. They're kind of cute. Like I could, I don't know. I could do something with them. Um, I feel like I need to turn the music down a little bit more for myself. Yeah, that's perfecto. Um, you might not even be able to hear it, to be honest. Um, so this is my tutorial folder that I've got for everybody. Um, every time you go live, I'm playing Sims. Well, it's a sign. We need to play more Sims. So I have my canvas. Um, this is my iPad. Look how cute she is. Um, <laughs> I love my background so much. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Why are we doing that? Sorry, guys. I'm on a bit of a finicky fucking... This selfie light is not vibing with me today, but that's okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, hold on. We were just working a moment ago, my dear selfie light. What are we doing now? Um, okay, that could possibly work have it hook on. Quite. Hopefully that works. I don't know why now it's acting like a jackass when I've had it like working for like 20 minutes. Okay, hopefully that's okay. Quite. Um, if it falls, it's gonna suck. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you for following. Um, love that. Love that for us. Join the family. Um, hold on guys thing is acting crazy and I'm not really sure why uh, I had it like working a second ago I just need a adjust is that better okay it's a little bit weird today I don't have my webcam thing completely set up yet so this is my iPod um, ignore my 244 texts at the bottom of the screen. Luckily, that's covered by the trial of Reflector. I would just like to say I bought Reflector and have yet to receive an email um, with my stream key or whatever it's called. A little bit annoying, but that's okay. We're going to use a trial version. Luckily, that's here. Next time, it will not be a trial version. Um, 3,000 notifs. Are you looking at my, uh, my email? <laughs> Um, yes, that's my email. I low-key am kind of insecure about having my ins my uh, my iPad up for everybody to see. Um, I really hope like no one texts me. Um, but yeah, so I have a bunch of photos here that 
we can choose from. It's my tutorial editing thing. I was really just having fun. Do you guys see how, oh my God, this photo on the right or on the left, this one. Oh my God, the quality is terrible. It's terrible. Um, give me a second. I'm also going to go back anytime I have to like go back into my photos. I'm going to just whine. I never know like if my personal information is in places. Okay, here we go. We can go right back. Boom. Okay. The quality is actually terrible in these photos, so I might not end up using them. Um, but I can also show you, what can I show you? Let's see. I like this one in particular. Um, the lighting's a little bit weird. It looks a little bit weirder than I remember it looking. It's kind of dark. I'm not really sure why, but we can brighten it up. That's okay. So we'll just use this photo. I don't know what I want to do with this. Um, hi, mama. They're all emails I sent that you don't return. <laughs> Yikes. Um, <laughs> Nick said quality may be terrible, but the subject is gorgeous. Stop hyping me up, Nick. I'm going to get a big old ego. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I've got this photo of me from 2015, literally. Um, before all the trauma. Well, after some trauma, but before a lot of trauma. Um, and generally what I do is I I like cutting things out. So I go to my blank tool. I don't know what this tool is actually called. What is it called? Mask? Mask tool? I call it my blank tool. Um, and then I kind of just start, oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. Ignore that. Um, oh my goodness. How professional is this, you guys? Um, and then I go to cut it out. Just a little bit at a time. Boink. Oh god, that looks terrible. Let's try this again. Let's do a little bit. Boink. I don't know what we're going to end up doing here. I may not end up using this photo. This is all the trial and error of it all for me. Um, I end up editing a photo for like six hours and ending up like realizing I hate it. That's just part of the fucking job, man. Um, colored hair in the midst of trauma and black hair comes after the storm. I guess that is kind of true. I did have... Ooh, I see you fucking going crazy, webcam. I wish there was like a place I could put this that would make more sense. Um, I wanted to put it here, but I feel like this upward angle is really not flattering. Let's just see. Let's see what the vibe is. Wait. Okay, it's not going to be the most flattering angle today, but that's okay. I'm looking in this direction anyway. Um, and you guys can check out my nice little Adam's apple here. So, that's the way it is. So, we're looking at my uggo face and a prettier version, prettier younger version of this face. Oop, I accidentally cut that off wrong, but that's okay. So, what I usually do, the first step of all my photos before I even really know what I'm doing yet, is kind of cutting everything out. Um, which is, this is so fun, isn't it? Isn't it so fun to watch? The photo is looking at me in a strange way. <laughs> she sees into your soul. <laughs> um, so this is me when I was, I think, 18. Um, little Nia did not know she was about to go through a bad break up she was oh god so my issue is I need a glove I have yet to get a glove um, that way I can edit without having every two seconds it do that fucking random straight line across the board um, and we can definitely clean up some of these lines later I'll go in with like an erase tool Boink. Um, yeah, so little 18-year-old Nia, she was about to... What was she about to do? She was about to go through a bad breakup. I said that one already. Um, and then she was going to fall in love again, which would be fun for a while. And then she would get her heart broken. Um, she was about to tour the world. Uh, twice, actually. Um, she was about to kind of have her first real experiences drinking. 
because um, she wasn't wasn't ever really much of a drinker, if I'm honest. Um, what was my favorite hair color from the Cherry Bomb earlier, early HV eras? Um, does that look okay? How does this look the best? I'm not loving this angle, but eventually I will figure out how to get this webcam to not be such a dickhead. Um, my favorite hair, I mean, I love this hair. Uh, I actually, seeing these photos yesterday, because me and my mants were on Discord talking before bed, and we were kind of talking about, like, whether we delete photos or keep them, and he's a deleter, he, like, deletes everything, and I keep everything, I have things from, like, 2011. Um, hi, Linz. She was about to start her character development. She was about to fucking discover her villain origin story, to be honest. Um... So I think I actually want to kind of make her smaller. And I'm not sure if I'm loving this. I like the photo, but I'm not sure if I'm loving this. So just in Nia fa fashion, we are going to start again. Give me a second. I'm going to go back over to point um, and find another better photo. This is kind of my process, peeps. Also, I kind of love... I love these photos of Rena and Casey I'm seeing. Um, sometimes this is just how it goes for me. It just is a lot of trial and error. Where are my... Where are my people? I usually have, like, people. And I don't see it. Uh, album, see all. Oh, you know what else I kind of wanted to edit? Were these... I found these silver photos of myself. Like, my hair is basically silver. I'm going to bring up a couple of the photos. Oh my god, Loki, I kind of miss this hair in particular. Um, it was very cute. Makes me want to like dye my hair again. Okay. Again, sometimes, like, the thing with me is nowadays I actually think about what I, how I'm going to edit something when I take the photo. Um, back when I took these photos, I was not thinking about how I was going to edit them. So I'll show you kind of... I'll show you kind of some of my options. So there's this one. So I'll sh tell you what the issue with this photo is. Um, I... First of all, like, it takes up a lot of space. If you look at, like, this area... Oh, sorry. Let me go back for a second. If you look at, like, this area, there's, like, no shoulder. Um, and the issue with that is, like, what the hell am I going to do with this photo? You know what I'm saying? Um, and with, like, photos like that... Like, half of my head is gone. What am I going to do with that? Um, Katharina says, This stream feels so nice, like a safe space. I'm glad you feel safe. That's the whole point. You should feel safe here. Um, hi, Selena. I'm so glad you made it. Thank you guys for coming. Um, bad bitches have men-induced trauma. Man, if we fucking... Oh, my God, we do. You look so little, please. Okay, so I think I'm going to screw around with these photos. I'll, I think I want to do this one first because I kind of have the most kind of area to work with here. It's a little bit annoying. It's going to be blurry, but I think that I think that I could possibly work with it. Um, also, I never edit the way I'm editing. I don't know if you can see, but my hold on. I don't know if my camera will show you, but I'm editing Oh, hello. Oh, do you see how that adjusts? I'm editing with this, like, facing me. And I usually edit it with everything down so I can kind of... So I can kind of, like, have more control over what my hand is doing. But that's okay. This is how it's going to happen today. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the excess. So 
I talked about what's not ideal for a photo. I didn't talk about what is ideal for a photo. I quite enjoy, I'll kind of show you a photo in a second that I really enjoy. Photos that have your whole body in them. Um, if I can go back to the gallery, hello. Um, I think this is kind of a good example. You can see how many layers I had here. Um, I added that because that was going to be my story. But you can see my whole body here, like in this area. Oh my god. In this whole area, um, which is kind of nice. Uh, I mean, you can see kind of my whole body here. And then you have like my whole head is in this. I cut off my shoulder, but my shoulder was in the original photo. I just like photos like that. You get the most kind of depth. Selfie photos for me are great and they're cute to post, but they're kind of difficult. Like this, I really enjoyed editing because, and I don't think this is the one with layers, no. Um, I can kind of show you, I think I can show you the original. Yeah, so I had another photo. Sometimes I'll go through, I'll go through and uh, try and fuck around. I didn't really like that, how that looked. Um, but you can see my whole body, it adds a little bit of depth where these ones that I have, that I'm editing now, it's a little bit of a challenge, a little bit annoying, but that's okay. I don't, I haven't taken a selfie in a second, so we're just gonna try our best here. Oh, that's a little weird. This is so difficult for me to edit like this. One day I'm gonna figure out how to, where to put my uh, webcam, where I can put my webcam. Bye Mads, I hope you feel better babes. Um, so that you can see me, but also see what I'm doing. I don't know what this is going to end up being, but we'll see. I may hate this too. That's the whole thing with editing for me is especially, actually, you know, I do have kind of an idea of some good photos to use that I might be able to find. I didn't have time to look before my stream. These are just ones I saw last night that I was like, those would be kind of cute to edit without realizing, I didn't look at the full photo, but without realizing that half of them were like cut off in random ways and you couldn't see part of my face in this one or any of that stuff. Guys, do you guys know what you're going to be for Halloween? I was kind of, oh, what photo app do I use? So I can show you all of my photo apps right now, just so you can kind of get, so I have ple uh, Procreate which is this one here. Um, I also have all these photo apps. So uh, you can kind of take a look at them. I have a lot of photo apps, but um, I use FTM image the most with Photo Leap. Uh, I use a little bit of Facetune when I need to kind of recolor or like define my eyes or anything. I try not to get rid of my blemishes too much. Sometimes I'll kind of smooth the skin, but I'm not really into like if someone sees me in person, they're going to be able to see all this. So that's kind of my idea. Um, I do use Visco sometimes. I love Unfold. Unfold is great. Uh, and then some of these are apps that one day I will pay for, but I don't pay for yet. Like Flitto? What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. Okay. I can open apps that I haven't, like, no thank you. You never know. I have nudes on my phone, so I'm not giving those away for free. That's all I'm saying. Um, yes, I do have an app that hides them, but you never know when you miss one. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was so messy. Why did I do that like that? Dude, my hair looks so fucking cute in this. What the hell? The silver? Guys, I kind of want to go back to blonde, but my hair is so healthy right now. You're going to be a cow, right? I love that. You're being Wednesday, Adam K. Brooklyn doesn't know what... Brooklyn doesn't know what she's going to be. Um, that's fine. You can figure it out, babe. Oh, here we go. Hmm. I also... Like... I've started to realize that the front cam... Is like way better for taking photos. This was taken on Snapchat with a Snapchat filter. 
uh, on my like front facing camera and I mean first of all that's not really what my face looks like as you can see my face hasn't changed that much um, I love filters but at the same time like I feel like when I do filters I kind of have to make the whole photo more exaggerated to just show that nothing is real rather than trying to masquerade it as like this is what my face looks like because if you could not tell this is not what my face looks like um. headset am I using? I believe it's Astro, Astro A10 is what it says. Astro A10. Um, there's this cute ass cow onesie at Walmart nearby and I'm gonna go snatch it. You should. You should definitely do that. Okay. Next with this photo is my head seems kind of small. Just going to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to tilt myself towards the camera a little bit more. Does that look a little bit more proportionate? Yeah, I think I can also. Sometimes snapping to grid annoys me. That looks a little proportionate. So I'll show you what that looked like. Yeah, I look a little bit more normal. Um... I'm getting paid to do a Halloween animation at the greenhouse of my uni. Probably going to go as a vampire. That's awesome. I love that. Okay, so, yeah, I adjusted my head size. Now what is the question? I think. You can kind of go through this one. Oh, my goodness. My hand is so shaky when I'm s sitting like this, but that's okay. Wait. I think what I'm going to do... Actually, hold on. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to move this whole thing. Uh, sorry. Move this whole thing over. Why? Then here. Guys, I was thinking, I had this idea. So, I don't know if you guys know what d d is, but I play it. It's called Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, I am a little bit of a nerd. All my friends are nerds. That is what we are. D&D um, &D is like this role-playing game. It's awesome. Would highly recommend it. Um, if you got some creative friends, or if your friends aren't creative and you guys are boring, that's fine. Like, play D&D. &D, it'll make you less boring. Um, Brooklyn, you're going to be in L.A. for your B-Day. Babe, remind me when your B-Day is. Can't relate. I got a dome of a head. <laughs> uh... I was gonna be a raccoon for Halloween, but then I changed my mind to Queen of Hearts. That's awesome. Um, so I was thinking I am a druid, an elf druid. I guess a high elf, technically. Um, in the main campaign that I'm doing. Uh, would you guys want to see me create my D and D character? In Sims, um, I have quite a few D and D characters that are kind of on the back burner in case my main one dies. Um, but her name is Lily, and if you guys wanted to see that, I would love to show you what I kind of envision Lily looking like. Um, a high elf, blaze it, yeah, baby. She loves her herbs, her herbs. Um. 
But if you guys would want to see that, I can definitely do that. Guys, this angle is terrible. I can't even look at myself right now. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> um, it's just what we're dealing with, doll. It's just terrible. It's fine. We'll get there eventually. Um. Boop. Guys, do you ever like stop yourselves and you're just like, I love women. Like, I feel like 10 times a day, I'm like, I just love women. Love working with women. I don't know. I know that's random. Rena, Casey, and I had a meeting this morning um, with this woman. And I was just like, I love you. And I've never really, like, that was the only time I've ever talked to her. So, definitely... Definitely weirdly over attached. That's me. I just I thought the meeting was really good. That's all I'm saying. Um Okay, we're getting this done slowly. Women, yes. Um I'm glad you guys would like to see that. I can definitely do that. Um I downloaded some mods for uh for sorry, for some elf mods. So I'm like, maybe we could fuck around with that. It'd be kind of cute. Uh, I'm actually going to just turn that into hair, I reckon. Um, so what I'm going to do next is... I can never remember which one is the good one. I think it might be this one. second everyone I'm just adding in some fake hair I'm gonna throw on that alpha lock so I can kind of do this um yeah guys I I've been, I downloaded so many custom content things and mods yesterday that if you guys want, I don't know, I would love to do like a sim, um, like you guys help me like go on the custom content websites and then we like look through and like window shop for custom content and that's our vibe. See, it doesn't look that fake, actually. It's very interesting. Um. It's, like, not that bad. Um, I do not remember this silver hair. So, it wasn't always silver. This was, like, right after I got it done. Which generally meant that, like... It was, like, super silver. Um, but it didn't stay like this for long. It would generally just go back to the, uh, blonde after a couple of washes. Um, you can actually see it kind of in my roots. It was very, I just loved it though. And I was like, fuck, I kind of want this silver hair vibe. I'm trying to make this look more like, oh, not like that. I'm trying to make it look more like hair. Because it's kind of, because everything's so blurred out, it looks, all right. It's fine that it looks a little bit messy right now because it's all going to end up, it's going to all end up getting a bunch of grain over it anyway. It's how I hide all my flaws. Uh, 
Um, this was 2019, I think. 2018 or 2019. I'd love to be a character in your Sims world to see how my death would happen. <laughs> Rob, thank you for watching. Just freaking go to bed. My freaking streaming king. Um, where did my... Oh, there we go. Okay. So, what I was going to do is possibly... I think I want to... The question is, what do I want to do for my background color? I mean, we we're kind of going with this blue and purple vibe. It might nice be nice to kind of... Eh, I hate it. What's the opposite? What's the opposite? Yellow? I kind of want it to be a little cooler toned, though. So maybe I'll go for, like, a blue. Ugh, I don't really know. That'd be kind of nice. What I'm not crazy about is all this crap. Uh. I don't like all that crap. I almost want to take this out and just do everything. There we go. I don't know if that's going to be weird. So, I think, what's it look like? This is all generally trial and error for me, guys. So, we're going to see what happens. I might end up hating this. Can I get this guy? Hmm. I'm not loving it so far. Hold on. Might be better to do side. Hold on. Okay. A little side action. Point. And then have it be an even space away. <laughs> what color? Purple! Um, I can do something purple. I can try and make this purple in the background. Maybe a little bit. Be kind of cute. And then do some... These are all my brushes, guys. I got so many brushes. Hello! Thank you! Thanks for following. I appreciate it. Um, just doing a bit of editing, editing, editing. Why? Let's see what that looks like. Maybe we can. My favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do, on like you might notice it on like all of my photos, but I go, I, I would love to show you guys this website because if you are on the, um, if you're on the iPad at all, it's a really great set to have. Hold on, this is like my favorite fucking thing to do. It's smaller. Make it look like it was everything was folded up. It's like my fave. I love doing it. And then you just kind of you make it blend into the photo. Perfect. And then we're gonna kind of put these layers all together. Now, 
we've got like a lot of things happening down on the bottom, but we don't have anything happening on like the top. So I'm wondering if maybe, you know what we can do? Leave that down here. Let's turn this photo. And let's kind of get rid of everything we don't need. So everything I don't want is all that. Get out of there. Make sure everything. Okay, let's try and wait. <coughs> <laughs> Your boink <laughs> should really be a stream notification sound of some kind. That'd be so funny, Nick. Boink. I don't know where that came from. I feel like I got it from Adventure Time. Do you guys know Gunther from Adventure Time? He's always like, boink. I feel like that's where I got it from. Okay. So. There we go. Oh, I did it, some crazy things there. Okay, it actually worked. Um, so. so I'm not loving, I think that my lip comes in a little bit. Maybe that's it. Might be a little bit better. Uh, it looks a little bit weird. I might need a photo with my face. My, why? <laughs> um. Hold on, reset. This might just be weird. Yeah, I'm not loving that photo on my lips. It's cute, like, from farther away, but it looks kind of wakey. Let me, let me go here for a second. Oh, when did this get down here? That's weird. Um, give me a second. Let me, let me find another photo of my libs. That might work. Mm. I like the straight. I think this actually works. I can show you. So I found this photo. Different makeup, but that's fine. Um, it's not gonna matter. Again, terrible quality. You want to know why it's terrible quality? Because I took this on fucking photo booth. Like, what the hell was I doing? God knows. Only God knows. Get rid of that bitch's face. Make it a tiny bit bigger. We're going to outline it, hopefully, so it's not as... Oh god, so it's not as blurry? That's all good though. This is so random, but have you watched Bojack Horseman? Um, I have. I love Bojack. Can I make this a tiny bit smaller? Oop. Perfecto. I want it to be like even. There we go. I love Bojack Horseman. I really love being in LA and knowing kind of everything that they're talking about. Um, ending, ending was super bittersweet. Casey loves that show. I've cried to it like a billion times. I would say that was like, it's one of my all time favorite shows. Here we go. There we go. That's a nice picture, my libs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do alpha lock, which means that I can't, like, see, it doesn't go anywhere else. Um, I'm not going to do that, but I am going to, I'm going to get, I think, an airbrushing tool, do the hard brush. I want to make them slightly bigger. Boop. And then we're going to take the darkest. 
gonna do this a little bit. Actually, I can do a soft brush. And just kind of define all the lines. Don't worry if it looks sloppy right now, it'll be okay. Um, we're gonna make this look a little bit higher quality. that a little bit. Uh, I don't want it like super. I kind of want like Okay, then what we're going to do is go to this is the smoothing tool. What's it actually called? Smudge tool. Um, and we're going to go to airbrush and we're going to just smudge it all away. There we go. It looks a little messy right now, but that's okay. If we hate it, we hate it. And that's okay. We can always start over. Um, that's the best part about, like, digital art, is, like, you don't necessarily, I don't know, you can always hit the back button. It's very nice. Okay. There we go. What I generally do is I should have saved this picture before I started ev editing it so heavily. Because that way I could have added some of the texture of my lips back. Because I have quite, uh, I guess some people would call them wrinkly lips. No, it is, I do not need chapstick. People have always told me my whole life, you need chapstick. And it's like, no, my lips literally just look like this constantly. No matter how well hydrated they are, I have crinkly lips. If you look at my mom's lips, they're the same. Angelina jo Jolie has crinkly lips. So does Jennifer Aniston, I think. Some people just have lips like that, and that's okay. They used to be insecure about it, but... Uh, I feel worse for the people who are making fun of me for something that's perfectly natural. <sighs> what a sad life they must live. You know what I'm saying? Right, this is looking a little bit fake, but that's okay. It's not meant to be real. I don't mind it though. Um, you got crinkled lips, kid. Be cool with that uniqueness. <laughs> uniqueness. I don't know anybody by that name. Um. <coughs> okay, let's uh. Let's kind of. shape my teeth a little bit more. Do a tiny bit. So, uh, that tooth looks a little bit weird. We need to blend it a little bit more. Make sure all the colors go together. Yeah, you guys ever seen teeth this close? What are you, my goddamn dentist? Guys, what do you think about the dentist? I'm terrified of him. He's a nice guy, but I just don't. I'm sorry, dude. I just don't trust you very much. It has nothing to do with his practice. He's a wonderful dentist. He's a wonderful person, really. Um, it's just... Who goes, like, and wants to work on teeth? That's my question. That's where my curiosity lies. Granted, maybe he's, like, who wants to work on music? 
And I'd be like, that's fair. Alright, it looks a little bit sharper. We could probably still darken some of these edges here. I wish I had the patience for this. Um, you kind of learn, it becomes meditative. Like, sometimes when I'm in therapy, because it's all over the phone at the moment, I will just be drawing on my iPad while I'm like talking about all my issues. Um, this for me is like a form of self care, I would say. I kind of want to smooth this out a lot more. So, that looks pretty decent to me, but what we can do, turn it up a little bit, mm, I think, hold on, before I do that, I kind of want to even out this lib a little bit, oh, what just happened, there you are? I want to even out this lip a little bit. Mask it off a lock. Perfect. Oh, but there seems to be a little weirdness happening over here. Why is that being so weird? Okay, actually that looks a little bit better. Um, I had a, a baby to- oh my god. <laughs> Wait, there's a lot that's happened. Um, I had gum surgery really young, so I'm super scared, so okay. Also, I was a feral child and would bite the dentist, so maybe they don't want me back, that's fair. Brooklyn says they're so scary. Rye says I had a baby tooth up until last month. So I was scared to go in fear they would pull it out. Dentists are okay. It just sucks that they want to talk while you're working on your mouth. That's fair. I have a bad gag reflex, so I don't want anybody near my mouth ever. Um, it's so awkward because they ask you questions about your day, but you can't reply because they have your, their hand in your mouth. That's fair as well. Rice said, I bit a dentist once on accident and was mortified. Motherfucker told me to bite down, but didn't take her hand out. <laughs> I would bite them for my own pure joy as a kid. K, oh my god. Um, one day when I have enough money, I will pay you to draw creative characters for my YouTube channel art. I don't know how good I would be at it, to be honest. I would try my best, but... By DK, how good I would be. Feel like all three of these guys can go higher. It's like Illuminati vibes in here, isn't it? I love working in threes. It's like my favorite. If you couldn't tell. Um, I was a leash kid, but without the leash because I think my parents were scared to restrain me. <laughs> Y'all nuts, dude. Cool. 
you like that one more? I really like the... I feel like I might have to... Hold on. Okay. Um... I don't think I can edit them all together, can I? I have to go individually. Okay, so... Well, first, hold on. Let me sharpen this bitch a little bit. You can see all the fake hair. Just ignore that. That's okay. We're gonna get rid of that. You're not gonna see that fake hair forever. This is giving me fortune, te fortune teller kind of vibes, like a tarot card or something. IDK, it's super cute. It's actually kind of fun idea. We might be able to add something there. Um, let me see if I can... Mm. I almost like need to... I need something with like heavy, like that, that keeps the, On. I think if I make this a blue. It's a little, it's giving me phasmophobia and I'm not liking it. I think also I might have to just... Where is it? Oh shoot, that's not what I want to do. I like that yet. I need to maybe do the gradient map as well. Let's just see what happens if I do. kind of like the creepiness when it looks like I've got like one eyeball. Hold on. If I like it or not. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if Gaussian blur works a little better. Maybe it is better to have it alpha lock than do the, bur the blur. like
those are so little small. kind of cool. I just need to kind of take out this. Hmm. I think the lips might need to come up a little bit. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to look at this as a whole. Do we love a good outline? Leaves the rusty nib. distracting do you guys think
after my brother was born, my parents were like, all right, we're done. Then my mom got pregnant with me and they were like, well, shit, we got to chop the balls. Normalize neutering men. Um, I like how Nia is just doing her thing and we're talking about neutering men and childhood trauma. What is happening in here? You guys are so funny. Um, I'm just trying to figure out this bullshit. I don't know if I like it yet. But you guys keep talking about men and their balls, I guess, if that's what you want to do. What happened? Ah, got it. Hmm. To be honest, I kind of like... I kind of want fucking tofu dumplings for lunch. What do you guys think about that? Some tofu dumplings. Have some tofu tofu dumplings. That's kind of cute. Um, it started with the dentist. But we got here somehow. Kind of getting there. I think that's something with these lips underneath here. Are not vibing for me. I think they just have to be all the same size. You know what? We're gonna find the perfect middle here. What is your perfect middle, my dear? Okay. I'm gonna do one above. Actually makes more sense, doesn't it? Hold on. It's cute. That's cute. Now we just have to combine down, combine down. See if we can just kind of have it fill up the whole screen. It's just nothing? Okay. I don't like the ones down there. There's something weird. I feel like about it.
Is that a vibe? If I had to choose death or salmon rice, I would choose death. Are you talking about salmon roe? Oh, that's fair. Oh my god, you hate a lot of stuff, Rye. We got a hater in the chat. My goodness. That's fair. I can understand. Sushi can be kind of an acquired taste, can't it? I don't know about the spacing on this. I'm getting crazy! Okay. <laughs> That's how I deal with my emotions. Um, I like the lips. I just don't know where to put them. That's okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I just screamed. There was no reason for me to do that. I apologize. This does have to be pink. If I just make it super, super vibrant. Maybe I need to make it, maybe I do need to make it darker slightly. Hmm. No, maybe white does work. White might work. And then if I turn these back things. Pink, maybe? Or purple? Oh, green? No. 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 Takes away from it. I hate that. I hate it. Okay. Does it need it? Does it need it? That's the question we ask ourselves. Does it need it? I don't know if it does. I think I'm just adding in things for no reason. So next up, we... I mean, what do we want to do here? I mean, I'm kind of happy with it. It's not a bad edit. It's not the worst. I do see, though, that everything does look a bit dark. I'm not sure why it's looking like that to you guys. That's not really how it looks on my screen. I don't know what's happening. Um. I don't know why it's looking so crazy. That's okay, though. Um. 
I'm not mad at this. I think what I'll do next is boink. I'm gonna JPEG it up. Save that, and then I'm gonna go here for a second. So I can open up Facetune without everybody seeing all my photos. And we're back here. Boop. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna retouch a little bit. We are gonna go in with the details. On with more details. So you can see kind of the difference there. Um, and then I'm going to go in with white, but I never use it on my teeth. I always end up using it on my eyes to add a little bit of a kind of like an added, it definitely looks like a filter. That's okay. So if you look at that the difference there. So I added a little bit. Boop. And then go go up here. Go all the way to the top. And then I'm going to, what did I want to do here? I feel like I had a purpose. Oh, I wanted to add some noise. And then there's three different types. I like br ridges the most. You can adjust the turbulence. I like a lot of turbulence. And then I go over and figure out what vibe feels good to me. I like that one a lot. little bit of opacity and come here and kind of I'll turn that off for two seconds I'm gonna boop So that looks amazing, doesn't it? So anything I want to kind of accentuate, make sure it's not in your photo. Look how dumb that looks. Um, I'll go in and then I will, so just slightly add it a little bit. And that basically looks like, I can show you right now. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Isn't that amazing? Um, and if you want to see the difference it makes, I can probably blur it out the tiniest bit more. Just a tiny bit. And you can see kind of how it adds the tiniest bit of definition. Um, I always love doing that. And then let's go back to this hair for a second. Um, I know I should have done this beforehand, but I totally forgot about it. So I'm just going to kind of fine tune it now. I just chose this smoothing tool. And now I'm kind of. Not super bothered by it. I think it looks okay. 
and then adding that on top you can barely like tell so that's the finished photo I think I can brighten it up the tiniest bit and then what I like to do is I'll do um, go back to my gallery give me a second I'm gonna go back to Um, go here, and then, I mean, actually, probably sharpen it the tiniest bit. Just about six. And then perhaps add about all that. Oh, a tiny bit more saturation. Um, and then I love, what I love doing is seeing if I like the color. So I can kind of change it to whatever color I want. That's kind of fun. So I've been doing a theme on my Instagerm that I can show you. Well, I was for a while. I don't know if you can see. Pardon me. Let me put my phone on, do not disturb. Um, you can see, I have my stream up because that's how I'm reading your comments, but, oh, hello. Um, I had this blue blue kind of vibe then i had green then i had yellow then i had orange then i had red then i had pink then i had purple then i had blue meaning that i would go and make this green again but i don't know how much i'm sticking to that theme i don't know if i like putting myself in that kind of box can i open my stream back up so i can see the comments you crazy bastards um i think you should use the definition layer on its own as the final photo it's art I don't know if you're being funny or not. Um, let's see, this is green. See, the f colors kind of get squashed. I don't know if you can see that, but when I use the green, it looks kind of, see how everything kind of looks the same? I like colors that provide a lot of contrast. Um, I actually kind of like that orange more. Why is that, can I get back to that orange? I kind of like that. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Um, and then, I mean, you can add glitches if you want. You can add waves. What I can do is kind of add the rusty. I think it's dead subtle. Yeah. And then add glitches to that. Boop. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know if it's necessary. I don't think it is necessary, but I just kind of want to show you some fun things you can do. This one's weird. I'll show you this. This gives me crazy, like, oh no, not that one, sorry. Um, this one. Like, oh my God, it hurts my eyes a little bit. weird so there's that you can do liquefy oh my god should we liquefy my eyeballs some cheekbones honey give me some cheekbones honey and then I want this fucking nose squashed to death oh my god girl and then I want one just like like a bitch got bonked on the head <laughs> bonk horny jail what do you guys think she looks amazing I'm gonna save this and post it <laughs> this is what we did on my live today. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a normal person. And 
do this. Or, yeah. Cute. Guys, we did it! We did it! Um. Yes, thank you guys. She's beauty. No edit. <laughs> thank you guys for helping me. Um, this wasn't too shabby. I reckon that uh, I could definitely do this more often if you guys are interested in it. If I ever get my freaking key for it, it would be nice. I just think it's kind of cute to like be able to show you guys like how I edit. Um, I can show you some of my other photos that I've done in the past. But like, I mean, to think that I thought this was my peak editing skill. First of all, look at how weird and grainy it is. Um, I was eating a tomato. Um, but like, yeah, I was trying to go for that for a while. It's, do you see how grainy it is though? It's terrible. Um, I think one of my favorite edits is probably this one. I love this edit, but that's before I put any of the filters on it. Um, and then this one's definitely fun. It definitely pops. Um. What else can I show you? I mean, some of these photos. I, I think my favorite edit of all time is probably this one or the, uh, or this one. I just think it's so, it's so fun. Um, I don't know. If you want to see more edits, if you want to see me do more fucking, like, a drawing. Um, I haven't done drawings in a really long time. Um... But if you want to see what that's like, because I'm definitely not, like, naturally not the best artist. I would say I have, like, one style. Um, but with my iPad, I feel like, oh my god, can I get out of here? There we go. I can definitely, like, experiment more. Um, like, I have a bunch of, like, random scary things. I love him. He's fun. <gasps> what is that? It's an accidental scribble. I love him though. Um, yeah, I love. Oh, I don't even remember doing her. That's fun. But um, yeah, like I can definitely show you how I draw and scribble around. Oh, how I do more. Um, I guess complicated things. I love this Edgar photo. <laughs> I love this Edgar photo. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. I'm just bragging at this point. I'm like, look at all my stuff. Um, oh yeah, these. I love these. I don't know if I ever posted these anywhere. Maybe I did. Um, but yeah, I love doing this. I did... I did my best friend Jeffrey. Um, he plays the drums, so I did a cartoon of him, and then I did uh, I did one of Casey, um, which also has oh my god, it has random scribbles on it. I hate that. I I'll have to get rid of those scribbles. It says keep march, marching, keep march on, and then it says Earl Grey. It says Earl Grey tea that he always drinks, and he's got the cowboy hat, and then he's just like bent over like this. <laughs> He's bent over like this. I don't know if you can see me. Ah. Bent over like that. Um. <laughs> um. And then I have. What else do I have? I have. I have me. Uh, eating. Oh, my mance would not like that. It's me eating a hand. Um. Look how creepy that looks, guys. Isn't that creepy? Uh, and then there's Edgar. And Edgar's got... I always add a little toenail. My other hand is a toenail. <laughs> Isn't it weird? I love it. It's so weird. Um, and then I did my dad. This is probably one of the ones I'm proudest of. Um, I made his head Sicily. And I made his head a bowl of pasta. And there's another scribble! What is happening? What is this scribble? Hold on. Oh, easy. Yeah, dude. And then I made... I gave him two toes. Um, 
Um, I did one of my mom's dog, Palomita. Um, I wish I'd made the framing a little bit different, but if you can see, <laughs> she's got little toes, dude. It's so weird. I don't know where my obsession came from. I just love doing it. I did one for my mom. Um, I'm not crazy about this one. Uh, the framing just doesn't seem right to me. So I did another one of her, and this is the one I have of her. Um, so she has like the 714, which is her birthday, a cat, both of her hands are feet, per usual, and then that's my mom. I made that my mama. And it says little ant queen, because that's what I call her, my little ant queen. Um, and then I always do ones of Rena. Rena's like my favorite to do. So I do her there. I did one of her. Again, this framing wasn't my favorite. Um, but I just thought it was really cute. She's a star. And she's got the little microphone. Um, dude, I want to do shit like this again. I don't know where it came from. But I was like on such a vibe. Um, I love him. He's amazing. Look how cute he is. He's got boobs and a vagine. Um, I love him as well. He's my little referee. Dude, I miss doing these fucking things. They were so weird. Um, and I just love their little toes. But yeah, I did a bunch. I did a bunch of these for a while. You just draw shapes and you see what happens. Like, that was pretty much all it was. Um... Oh, and then this one's one of my favorites. I love him. I just think he's gorgeous. Um, yeah, sorry. I could talk about this forever. I don't draw that often. Um, but when I was on my drawing vibe, it was like my favorite to just like make random shapes and just see what happened. Uh, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to figure out a better stream schedule. If you guys have certain times that work better for you, I would love to know it. Um, I also would love to, like, stream when I'm playing Call of Duty with my friends. Um, because I feel like our chatter is quite hilarious, and I think you guys would enjoy it. Um, I do get into arguments with random, like, annoying men on the internet. Not on the internet, but on Call of Duty. So hopefully you won't get into too many of those. I'll probably mute everybody so I don't have to listen to bullshit. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy seeing how I edit. Um, and if you want to see more of it, let me know in the comments or on Twitter. Um, also, if you guys don't know, uh, Hey Violet has a show coming up. Actually, three shows coming up. I'm looking at my calendar. I believe it's the 22nd and 23rd, and then we have VIP meets on the 24th. Um, you don't have to go to all three shows. You can if you want, but, um, they will be the exact same set list. Uh, but just check what works for your time zone. Um, and if you haven't bought tickets, you can buy them at heyviolet.veeps.com. Um, that's V double -E, e P S. And, uh, yeah, you can either get, you can get some fun stuff on the site. So just check it out. Um, don't make me cry, but we want to see you guys there. Ask us questions. Let's just hang out, dude. This is what this is all about. We're doing a show again. So it's going to be good. We've been practicing nonstop. It's been hard work nonstop. So if you haven't got your ticket, go get it now. <laughs>